Hello everybody and welcome to a spotlight on Radical Rabbit Stew. It's a... Let's just get into the game, okay? I completed a couple of the levels so far. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll just go through starting at level one just so that you guys have a decent understanding of what this game is like. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, puzzle game. A action puzzle game is the best I can explain this to you. As you could see, what you do is you hit these rabbits with your spoon and make stew out of them. You make radical rabbit stew. And it gets slightly more complicated here because you can also shoot them into bumpers and then those bumpers will get them into the stew. Because you can't go through the rabbits because they'll damage you, as you can see um, in a moment here. In the top left side of the screen, uh, you'll be able to see we have two hearts and those two hearts our HP. Once you've knocked them out, by the way, you can walk through them. That is a very important distinction to make. And uh, as you can see here, um, it becomes a little bit more complicated. You go from a bumper into a bumper and then into the stew. So you'll start to have more complicated levels as time goes on. Uh, this, for instance, you have a bumper into a wall, but then you can smack them again into the next bumper into the stew. These are just some tutorial levels to make people understand the game. I don't know if I can do this level again. I, I can't because it's. I think it's a boss level. Uh, so you can't really do that again, sadly. Um, making one of the rabbits go into the other rabbits also knocks out the other rabbits. That's a very um, useful thing that I actually didn't notice until now. So I'm going through these first couple of levels fairly quickly. This is the level where um, medals are introduced. Those are optional objectives uh, you can get if you uh, want to. And obviously, we're going to want to get those because so far the levels themselves haven't actually been all that difficult and interesting. And I think this is the last level I have unlocked so far. I have actually failed this level uh, before I started recording this. So one thing uh, you don't want to do is just randomly knock them out because I knocked one off screen, which means that this level is now not completable anymore. So you can't actually kill the rabbits. So what you want to do in this very specific case is you want to knock it into that wall, then knock it down, and then knock it into one of the stews. Usually, so far at least, um, this is a little bit more tricky. Uh, so far, as long as you throw them into a bumper, you'll probably be fine. I imagine that at some point down the line, um, there's going to be bumpers that don't lead to a stew. It'd be a bit shitty if it did, but uh, I imagine that is how this works. So this is the first level that I've not even seen before, and it seems like this is an entirely new concept as well. Um, okay, so what you want to do here I don't know, because that, that throws you into into the stew. Huh. Let me think on that for a second. Let me think on that for a second. So what you probably want to end up doing here is not bad. It's very much not bad. Restart stage. Ah, uh, that's the wrong button. Do you just let yourself get damaged? No, because that then... I am very confused. I'm very confused. You need to have a knocked out rabbit here. But the only way to do that is... Can I... Oh, that is very interesting. Okay, so you can actually knock them mid-air as well. This becomes a lot more difficult suddenly when timing gets involved. Again, it's a it's a bit of a, a weird way to put it, maybe, but I'd, uh, I'd say this is an action puzzle game. And I didn't actually go get the medal, so I have to do it again. It's not just clearing the path to the metal that works uh, for you. It's actually, you, you need to get the metal itself, obviously. So... I don't know what they want me to do. Oh, they want me to do that. Okay, that works. Then I have the metal. Knock out this thing again, or just 
knock it into the stew. And that is how you get the metal. I don't know what the metals do other than being collectibles. They might not do anything other than being collectibles, but I feel like, again, the, the levels are probably made in such a way that they expect you to want to go get those metals. Hmm, that is interesting. <laughs> that thing is going quicker and quicker and quicker. <laughs> So how do you get that? Because the moment... Oh, he just jumps off. Because the moment one of those flying rabbits hits that bumper, he's gonna go fly it. So... Oh, I got it. You sometimes just have to wait. It's a puzzle game after all. So you do this, get to metal, and then do that. Get the first two going. And got that still going. There you go. Also, apparently my controller, uh, you can also play this with a controller. I'm playing this with a, a keyboard. So it's a fine way to play it. It's uh, the, the arrow keys and the number one for some reason. I'm guessing because number one is the way you use your, your spoon. There's going to be different weapons at some point as well, is, is my best guess here. So I don't know what they want you to do with this level, because this level just seems easy. Maybe it's supposed to throw you off? It, it really isn't? Okay, this becomes a little bit more chaotic now. I like this. Okay, so you are now stuck there. You're the second one, then I go get the medal. So that one level that I was freaking out about wasn't actually that bad, probably, because the levels that came after it were all pretty easy so far. Again, uh, this is just the beginning of the game, obviously. I think I'm at level... 12 now, and I think it's said there were like 70 or so levels uh, in the main menu. So... It's probably going to get a fair bit more difficult as we go along, but uh, for right now... This doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> uh, I, I, I missed my chance to get this, I think. No, I didn't! Did I? I don't know what the water does. The water doesn't seem to do anything for the, for the rabbits. Oh, I can, just, I can just smack one back up there. Hold on. Okay, maybe... maybe not. Let's restart that level. I even get two chances to do... Oh, uh, wrong button. <laughs> I even get two chances to do it. So what you do is not that. I get another chance to do it. I think this is the first time I died. Huh. There you go. You can die. Okay, let's see. You probably need to use the bottom one, actually. You probably need to use the bottom one, because you do this and then you do that. There you go. That one was a little bit more tricky. That one was, uh, wasn't necessarily very easy. Now, let's hope that I don't die. The rest of this seems fairly straightforward, honestly. So, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Unless you... No, that's just that. This probably would be a lot more interesting of a game if the... It's not saying that this game is bad. I'm actually quite enjoying myself. This seems like a boss fight. Um, but if you're, like, your score or like a, a grade uh, was based on... This is weird. Um, was based on the amount of times you use your spoon. Or you can only use your spoon in a certain amount of times per level or something like that. That would make it a little bit more puzzly than it is right now. Oh, I died. I just straight up... I got crushed. Wow. And that might not be what this game is going for. I, I understand that. But I do think it would make the game a little bit more challenging, engaging. I don't know what the right words is necessarily, but... Uh, I think there is room for improvement, and there very well could actually be something like that in 
in later levels because again we're not even 20 percent the way through the game so who fucking knows what what this game turns into later right oh this this is nice there's a lot of there's a lot of bunnies around oh what are what are safe spots what are get you safe spots at least in this level <laughs> nope you can still get You can still get hit by, by the axe coming down from above. Okay, that's three hits. How many times do I need to hit the big bunny? That's my question. I was assuming three times because it's a video game and everybody knows video game bosses are supposed to die after three hits. I on Okay, I, I only have two hits now that I mention it. I only have two hits, that's not fair. I think I killed it. All right, that was a boss fight. That was an actual boss fight. The first boss fight I couldn't show you uh, because I did it off screen. Oh, now we go here. Uh, well, okay, so the first thing I did wasn't actually a boss fight. The first thing I did was just an item. And what do we get now? We got a spoon upgrade. We got a silver spoon for, for with stuff, or organic rabbit ears, that is it. Let's see if it does anything different. Old key to- Oh, that is... That's a big boy key. Oh, it, it literally is bigger. It, it has a bigger reach. That is an interesting mechanic. So, as I was expecting, there are multiple different kinds of... Did I say keys? I mean spoons. I'm expecting there's a lot more of them. Um since they use one and two, so maybe it is up to nine, though I don't know how that would work on the controller. Would you cycle through them? Because if you cycle through them on the controller, I think it might be better to play with keyboard. But I also think this is a pretty good point to leave of this game. If you've enjoyed this game in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have. There's also a link down below to the Steam page in the description of this video if you want to check out this game for yourself. Uh, it might actually not be a Steam page, there might be an affiliate link down below. I am not entirely sure if I have one for this game. Maybe. We'll see. There's a link down below where you can buy the game, at any rate. And if it's an affiliate link, buying it through that link gives me a little bit of a, uh, of a benefit as well. So, I'll see you back next time with a new game. Bye.